everyone welcome back to today's video today we are checking out fate hub 2.0 one of our most requested updates we have ever made so let's get straight into it all right starting off right away is fate hub 2.0 is a complete recode from fate hub 1 so pretty much what this means is the plugin was completely recoded completely redone more optimized no more bugs all those good things so we completely redid it it has a new custom menu creation system the queue system was recoded brand new tab system cosmetics launch pads and everything in the plugin be can be configured um so it has all these cool features i'm not going to read them all out um but if you want to check out the plugin yourself the link to this plugin page is in the description and you can go there yourself and check out everything that the the um Server supports all those good things. Um, Vault could be used. Um, Aquacore, Luck Perms, Football Cores. There's a bunch of stuff it supports in terms of uh, cores to get ranks and everything else, along with a custom tab where you need, I believe it's Protocol Liber Via Virgin or one of those for the tab menu, which looks absolutely amazing. Very nice um, job getting that all redone there on the menu. I'm very happy that they uh, that activated did that. That was one of our biggest requests. Uh, you have commands which is leave queue, join queue, pause queue, gadget, hub core, hub core reload, so reload all your configure files, and slack fit spawn. The hub core reload was also another big feature that was requested in Fade Hub 2.0. I'll go through the configures in a minute. Um, you can see there's uh, different armor colors for the operators, firework launches, cosmetics. I'll show you all this in a moment. Um, you have a bunch of placeholders. So these are the placeholders for the menus, scoreboards, messages, and tab menus and stuff. It supports placeholder API for most of the messages as well. So if you want placeholder API to get a bunch more placeholders, you can have those too. You have custom tab placeholders here, and you have custom scoreboard placeholders here. And of course, your permissions are listed here, and I can you guys can go ahead and um, check all that out and everything. So you can bypass like block bracing, placing, item drop. All those good things are available there. Of course, we have a feedback site where you can leave ideas. Um, that wasn't linked correctly. I'll fix that later. But you have a feedback site where you can leave ideas and stuff. And you have a support site and wiki site as well, which is pretty cool. All right, so on the server, we're just going to take a quick look before we hop in the configure files. And I'll show you the default settings and everything. So you're looking at our default tab list here. Um, it has like the different servers, how many people are online on each server, you, your rank, how many people are online total, and the queued amount of players. And of course, it says use 1.7 for a better gaming experience on the right hand side there. On your scoreboard, you have the global players, your player name, your rank, and then you can do that. Your server navigation by default has factions, lobby servers, and UXC. So factions, you have like, you can set all these cool things. You can see, you can set it if it's uh, online, how many places are in queue if it's online. And you can even open a second menu by inside this menu, which is our one of our other high requested things. So you can click this to open your uh, lobby navigation, which is also your book here. So it opens the same menu no matter what you're in. You can click this and transfer to different hubs. And you can see when you enter a queue, it's not going to work because this isn't on Bungie and set up. But if I enter a queue, it pops up on the scoreboard saying in queue, uh, for UXC, one out of one. Um, and if you want to skip the queue, of course, you can buy and give permissions to skip queues. So if you have a full server, stuff like that. By default, you get firework launch, so you can launch yourself into the air and explode, which is pretty cool. I'll do that again so you can see, um, which is pretty cool. You got your ender butt, which lets you fly around. And there's two settings for this now. You can either fly with it or when it lands. So those are pretty cool. Players visibility on and off, and you have a nice little uh, custom... You can't use this command cooldown thing that shows you the seconds in bold and everything, which is pretty cool. You get your lobby navigation by default as well, and you get some cosmetics. So you can see it says you want to buy these, go to this store link. You get firework, explosion, or hearts. So you can click, like, let's say you want fireworks. You can do fireworks after you, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So these are like your default server stuff and all of that. So we're going to hop into the configure file and I'll show you everything. So for your messages file, you got your prefix and all the messages in the plugin, how you set your time, your cues, all those things are available to be configured here in the file. This is the menus.yml. I'm going to come back here in a moment because I'm going to go through very much in detail on how you set up a custom menu with Fate, Fate Hub 2.0. So I'll come back to this in a moment. You got your gadgets.yml, which is your gadgets menu, and you can see it um, gives your hearts, and you can configure all the lore and items and everything, which is pretty cool. You can set up different um, gadgets, and 
what you want. So your explosion, the name of the effect is explosion and it's explosion normal and everything and how much it's offset and everything. So you can set all these up. You can add as many as you want, which is a cool feature that's been requested. Your tab menu, you can enable and disable and configure everything in the middle, left, right, and far right, which is pretty cool. And you got your settings, where is your like main configure file, where you can configure if you want join messages, if you want where you spawn, your spawn in the world, your queue messages, your quit messages. And here is where you set up your servers. So your servers, you can have as many as you want. It's going to be exactly like what it is inside the Bungie, um, the Bungie cord config file, where you have your name here. This is the name in the Fade Hub. This is your Bungie name, your address, and your port. And that's how it gets all the data for those. And then, of course, you can enable, disable all these features um you we can enable launch pads change the type of plate the velocity you can have double jump if you want so right now double jump is enabled so you can see a double jump there uh you have join items you can configure all those and yeah and then you have your armor cosmetics so you can enable and disable them right now it is enabled and i'm red because i am an operator and then you get your scoreboard.ymo where you can enable and disable your scoreboard and change all features about it on the right hand side so when you're cute and when you're normal Pretty cool, right? Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at your menus.yml file. This is going to be the one that I'm going to go into more detail on because you can make as many of these as you want and tie them to custom items and stuff, which is pretty cool. So why don't we go ahead and make a new menu? Now, here's how this works. These are, it kind of explains how you make it here. You can just copy this. And if you want to open this from another file, let's say you want to open this from your join item in here. So we go back over here and you can see your hub servers. You can see it does open menu hub dash servers if we're in our menu.yml hub dash servers is right here so you just uses what's in this file so you can put this in any of your files in any of the configure files so if you want it to be a different item you they can click that and it opens up this new menu so what we'll do is we're first going to set up a new item for our join item and we're going to just so pretty much how we do this is we're just going to go ahead and copy this and i'm going to make it something else and I'm going to just paste it in here. Make sure your formatting stays the same. You don't want the formatting to be messed up. And I'm going to name this like TNT or something. And the I, it's going to be called TNT. And we can make this be called like um, explode. Or we can make it like um, server stat menu or something. Whatever you want it to be. Of course, you'll make this your own. And what slot you want it to be in. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So why don't we put it in slot 4. Four. I don't think there's anything in slot four right now. Uh, five, eight, two, no. So we'll put that in slot four. Does it want to run a command? Well, we're going to have it um, do something, but it's not going to run a command. It's actually going to open a menu. So you can see in our menus.yml, we're going to copy this, which is open menu, menu name, and we're going to make a new menu in a moment. So we're going to go down here and we're going to go to our new thing and its action is going to be open menu and our menu will be TNT menu. It's going to be a thing and it's going to be right click to open the TNT menu and we're just going to do this just like that. And now we can go into our menus.yml we're going to make a new menu. So what I like doing when I make these new menus is just copy this top thing here and copy one item at a time. It just makes it way easier. Um, it may actually be easier to copy from the bottom, so you can just do that easily. Then we're just gonna add a new line, paste this in, and you can see we're gonna rename this to TNT menu as our name. And we're also gonna name the um, menu title to TNT menu. This is the top of the GUI, if you don't know. I'm gonna name that TNT menu, and it's gonna be size nine. So we'll just keep it the same size as our lobby navigation menu here. And you can set your item. So item number one, we'll put TNT stat or something. How many TNTs have you exploded or whatever? Um, and we'll get rid of the number one. Just like that. And of course, it's going to be a TNT because we like TNT. It's going to be in slot one. Is it going to do a command? True. We can make it say TNT is great. If it's clicked, the... Uh, so that's what it will do. Of course, you can have it open another menu if you want. If you want that to open another menu, just add the menu there. And your lore. So for lore, we'll just delete this and make it one line that says TNT is great. Just like that. Now, all you can do now is do fate hub or hub core, I believe. Hub core reload. And it goes ahead and reloads hub core. And I'm going to rejoin because it's going to allow me to get the new... I maybe still... Ah, so we did something wrong. Let's see. I have a feeling that was me doing something wrong here. Give me one second and I'll figure it out. All right, I have found the issue. I did not format this correctly. I believe it was two back was the name of the thing. Hub servers, 
I'm just gonna go down and make sure it's now even with here. So you can see I, I was a little off there on this, so it went ahead and broken, broke itself. I'm just gonna restart the server to fix that. So make sure you do your formatting correctly or it will break just because that's just how it works and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and rejoin now and let's see if it worked. Or is something wrong with my formatting still? I believe something's still off with my formatting. Other, yes, it is. So you can see this is messed up in my formatting. So we're gonna go back into my menus.yml and we're gonna figure it out. So I'm pretty sure this is actually in my settings.yml. Um, let's see, it is on line 112 of hub servers. 112, let's see, which one is 112? It's this one, is it? So it must be in my menu, so 112, right here. So I did something to all these, and I'm pretty sure I just misformatted them again, and I'm pretty, yes I did, misformatted once again, so make sure to do this. I'm gonna fix this and I'll be right back. Here's the misformatting right here. It's actually hub servers was all the way over here. That's supposed to be right there. Name's supposed to be tabbed in, and I'm gonna rename this TNT servers. So once again, I have messed this up by just misformatting the thing, and I'm gonna go ahead and fix this right now, and we're gonna rejoin and try this again. I'm sorry for the mistakes. I've been, I'm literally rushing through this video a little because I need to go do stuff, but I wanted to do that. So now we got our tab menu back, but I'm pretty sure I've still messed up something, and yes, I did. So we've messed something up in the other configure file now. So let's go ahead and open that and see where we went wrong on that one. So you can see I'm new to this. I've just started doing this myself. So we're going to go in and we're going to check what we did wrong. So our action, let's see, do we need, to, we did need to put, we forgot to put little uh, things around this action thing. So, you know, it happens. You, you people forget to do these things sometimes, everyone. It's fine. Let's go ahead and restart and try this again. Uh, um, I know, I should have tested this and done this before I made the video, but I didn't have time. So going into the flow, there we go. So you can see we now have our server stat menu in our configure, in our, um, uh, inventory and oh it's not doing what we wanted probably because we didn't set it correctly let's go ahead and open up our config file again and check so it's open menu TNT dash name oh I think it's TNT dash servers yes it is so TNT dash servers so we can just name this servers there we go and we can do hub core reload now there we go reloaded so now if I rejoin it should let me open it up correctly it does not because I probably still have done something wrong this is this is the reason you test open menu TNT servers is that exactly the thing it says TNT servers hmm give me one moment to figure this out once again I have messed this up and I put TNT menus here instead of TNT servers so I've gone ahead and fixed that now we can reload and it should work first there we go now it opens so you can see TNT is great TNT stats you click it it says TNT is great in chat just like we programmed it to say in our configure file so that's how you make a menu that's Fate Hub 2.0. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you use it a lot. Anybody who owned Fate Hub 1 will be able to um, use this and download it right now. It's available on MC Market. I apologize for all the mistakes I made in this video. I am tired. I got things to do today. I was trying to get through it quickly. Should have probably done it before, but you know, it happens. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions with the plug and join Discord, we'll be happy to help you out and um, all of that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.